Hello, this is Scott Cook, and I'm coming at you with a KSP Shorty. Basically, uh, this was a request by someone on YouTube to uh, get a quick tutorial on how to s install the KSP Interstellar mod. As you can see here, I'm using version 0.23, which is also a clean install. I've got no games in here, and I've got no other mods. I'm using Windows 7. I assume that if you're using a Mac or Linux, it's probably fairly similar. But as you can see here, I'm just going to start a quick sandbox so that I've got something to make sure that it works. So I'll just wait for this to load. I'm doing this live. I'm not. Uh, I'm not recording post commentary. I'm actually doing this uh, as I as I talk here. So, so as you can see here, it's nothing but the stock vanilla parts. Um, nothing special. Most of the Interstellar uh, pack parts are under propulsion or under utility. So as we can see here. It's just vanilla. Now I'm going to quickly just bring up my file structure. All right, so all right, so this is uh, just the basic install of KSP Win file, as you can see here, and this is the Interstellar pack as you download it. I will put a link into the comments of this uh, video so that if you want to follow it, but basically. All we do is in your KSP Win Pack, you've got your game data, and this is where most mods go. For this one, it has a slightly different setup. So if I just go in here and uh, look at the installation instructions, which is coming up here, basically, if you have a previous install, delete it, uh, unzip the file, the Interstellar mod into the main Kerbal Space Program directory, uh, not the game data folder. So you guys basically just want to put it into the main folder which I will show you. The directory structure when you're done should be your KSP main folder, game data, and then you should have the warp plugin, the tree loader, and the hex cans. You need all three of these to completely take advantage of the interstellar mod. And then when you're done, uh, if you're doing the career mode, you have to set the interstellar tree if you want to actually take advantage of this technology. So let's just quickly go through that. So this is currently a zipped file, so I have to extract it extract all files and then I just go into my computer and into the location where you put your Kerbal Space Program as you can see here I keep a separate install for the various versions as I have them and I actually have two of 0.23 but that's just the way I set it up and you want to put it in this folder not this folder so you want to be a step above you hit OK extract Again, you want to merge the folders because there's going to be one from each one, so you want to merge those and make sure you do it for all files for the most part. There might be some additional steps or there might be some specialized information if you're mixing it with other mods, so just keep that in mind. So now that should have worked. We go back to here, we go to KSP Win, we go to Game Data. As you can see here, I've got hex cans, I've got tree loader, and I've got warp plug, uh, excuse me, warp plugin. So therefore, it should work. So I'm just going to pause this video for a sec and start up KSP. Okay, so we're back with the game loaded. I just cut out a little bit of footage as I was loading the game. So we just go back into that game that I started here, the default with no flights. Go to continue. And if it worked, um, you should see the parts show up in the vehicle hangar, the vehicle assembly building. So there's no um, cockpits with it. But if we go under propulsion and we skip to the end, here we go. We've got plasma thrusters now, thermal rockets, thermo thermo jets, your antimatter containment devices, the hex cans, all that stuff. And if we go under utility and we cycle to the end, we now have fusion reactors, nuclear power plants, you know, radiators, all that stuff that you would need to make this mod work. So now, just for the record, in my interstellar uh, program that I'm doing, the video series that I'm doing right now, I have several mods. And that particular file looks a little bit different. Like this is the game load for the current one that we're using. Uh, if I go into my Kerbal Space program, this is currently the one I'm using. And as you can see, I've had a few crashes. That's mostly because I've had memory problems and I've had to take some parts out because I got a little big. But these are all the mods that I'm currently using right now and most of them end up here. There's not a lot of tweaking. Uh, since um, I think it was Kerbal Space Program, either 
or one, yeah, probably point two zero, or they changed the file structure so that all your mods should end up in that game directory. Alrighty, so if you if this is, I hope this is helpful for you. If you liked it, just uh, let me know. And uh, if there's any other requests out there, please feel free to get to them. Let me know. I'll try to get to them if I can. This is Scott Cooks uh, signing off. Having a good day. Bye bye.